friends, good morning and welcome back to Centrum Academy again. Friends, last class we have uh, discussed resonance, okay, and application of resonance we were discussing, okay, and the first application we have already uh, seen that the calculation and comparison of bond order, okay. So in that we have two cases. First is when we have equal contributing structure, right? That case we have already discussed, and we have seen that we are taking the average value in equal contributing structure. Okay. So here today we are going to discuss about the comparison of bond order in unequal contributors. Okay where the resonance or we can say the pi electron or lone pair is not equally delocalized that is nothing but the unequal contributors okay so today topic uh, we are going to discuss here is the comparison of bond order in unequal contributors in unequal contributors okay Friends, if you remember, last class we have written here calculation of bond order in case of equal contributors, right? Here I am writing down comparison of bond order, okay? So the point here why I have written this comparison because in case of equal contributors, in case of equal contributors, we cannot find out the exact value of bond order. Unequal contributors, we cannot find out exact value of bond order exact value we cannot find out but we can compare we can compare the bond order why is it so and here also we cannot find out since we cannot take the average value the reason behind this is what the lone pair or pi electrons lone pair or pi electrons are not completely delocalized. Remember in case of equal contributors what we were doing we were just calculating the number of bonds right pi bond and sigma bond divided by the total number of resonating structure which is nothing but the average value okay but here we cannot take average value since the electron pairs are not completely delocalized okay so now here you see if you take one example with this example i'll try to explain that is ch2 negative c double bond o h okay if i draw the resonating structure of this resonating structure will be this negative charge or lone pair comes over here and this pi electron will go onto this oxygen atom. So, the bond here it is CH2 double bond CO minus H. Okay. It is a conjugated system. Okay. Type of conjugated system we have also discussed. Negative charge or lone pair sigma bond pi bond. Okay. So, it is a conjugated system. Okay, now the point here it is, if I calculate or if I ask you what is the bond order of carbon and oxygen bond here, okay, and the bond order of carbon and oxygen bond here, okay, here since we have double bond, bond order is 2, here we have single bond, so bond order is 1, okay. So obviously since the electrons are not completely delocalized, we cannot take the average value of this too. Okay. So what we can say, exact value we cannot find out. Okay. We cannot get the exact value. But we can, one thing we can obviously say that the bond order of carbon and oxygen bond will be in this range. Right. It is greater than 1 but less than 2. This is the range of the bond order. 
okay now if i ask you whether this bond order is closer to this value or this value okay that's one question uh, they may ask you so how do we assign this and how do we decide this first of all you see whether the bond order is close to 1 or 2 it depends on whether this resonating structure is more stable or this resonating structure is more stable okay who like whatever resonating structure i have drawn here depending on the stability of this and this we can say the bond order is either close to 1 or close to 2 close to 1 means what lesser than 1.5 close to 2 means what more than 1.5 okay so again what happens we can compare the stability of these two easily okay and if you see the number of pi bonds are equal okay and uh, we know there is one rule which is what when the negative charge present on more electronegative atom it is more stable and positive charge present on less electronegative atom is more stable okay so here we have negative charge on carbon atom negative charge on oxygen atom so since oxygen is more electronegative element so this particular ion here it is more stable okay so this form is obviously more stable right this one is less stable okay and hence we can say since the stability is more for this one where the bond order of carbon oxygen bond is 1 so we can say the bond order of carbon oxygen bond is close to 1 okay this is what how we can compare the bond order of the unequal contributors or resonating structure in which the pi electrons are not completely delocalized so always remember one thing in this case we cannot find out the exact value but we can compare the bond order of the resonating structure okay the structure which is more stable the final bond order will be closer to that value right so this is the thing we have but to sum up all this discussion exact bond order we can always find out for equal contributors for unequal contributors we will compare the bond order of the resonating structure okay now one more thing one more example i'll write down here this is the second example here also we are known there we have to compare the bond order of this bond which is alpha and this is beta suppose okay so we have to compare the bond order of alpha and bond order of beta okay so you see here here we have resonance possible right but here what we can say resonance is not possible but here we have resonance possible right so so because of resonance what happens here this lone pair comes over here and will get a partial double bond character okay like you see if you draw the resonating structure of this one this is how we will draw the resonating structure okay and then furthermore we can draw further resonating structure but we have we are concerned with the bond order of carbon chlorine bond okay this bond alpha bond so i am just drawing one resonating structure here right so you see here in this particular molecule since we have resonance possible so bond order will be what bond order will be according to the same logic we can say it will be in this range depending on the stability of the molecule right it will be either close to 1 or close to 2 that's another thing but here the bond order is always 1 right in this case the bond order is always 1 for carbon and chlorine I am talking about there is no way so that the bond order is more than 1 because there is no resonance here right and we can say since the bond order in this range 
So what we can say here, the bond order of alpha is more than the bond order of beta. Right? Bond order of alpha is more than the bond order of beta. Okay? So this is how we can compare the bond order. One more thing we can compare, if bond order is more, bond strength will be more. More bond order, order means what? More will be the number of bond between the two atoms. So more will be the bond strength. So the next thing we can write here that the bond order is directly proportional to bond strength and inversely proportional to bond length. Sometimes they also ask you to compare the bond length. Okay. So obviously the bond length order if I write down here. So bond length of alpha is less than bond length of beta. Bond strength of alpha is more than to bond strength of beta. Okay. So this is the uh, you know, the whole thing that we have discussed. Either they can ask you the bond order, they can give you the option like close to 1, close to 2, like that, okay, maybe 1 and none of these. They can, um, you know, give you options like this, okay. But depending on the stability, we can say the bond order is either close to 1 or 2 or whatever it is. Similarly, here also, if we write down the comparison of bond strength, so bond strength of which one is more since oh, we have only one molecule and in these two if we compare the bond strength okay since this is more stable right suppose I write down this is molecule B and this is molecule A right so this is more stable so where we have single bond, right? So bond strength of A is more than to the bond strength of B. And bond length will be of A is less than to the bond length of B. Right? So like this we can compare the bond order, bond length and bond Okay, so these are two examples we have discussed. I'll give you some more examples in which bond order we have to compare. Okay, so we'll discuss this one by one. You see here, on this oxygen, we have lone pair present and hence the resonance is possible. Okay, and because of resonance, what happens? this double bond will convert into single bond okay so obviously this carbon carbon bond order if you calculate it will be it will be in between 1 and 2 right but here we have lone pair on this oxygen right but resonance is not possible so the bond order of carbon carbon is 1 only here right so here the bond order is 1 and here the bond order will be less than 2 but greater than 1. So obviously the bond order of first one is more than to that of second one. Okay. Now here you see again this nitrogen has lone pair sorry one lone pair this nitrogen also has one lone pair. Here we do not have resonance so bond order is what? 1 but here the bond order is again less than 2 greater than 1. So bond order of first one is more than to that of second. Okay. Here we do not have resonance. So bond order is 2. Here we have resonance I have already discussed. So bond order is less than 2 greater than 1 this question only. Okay. So this is the bond order of this one is more. Okay. Now this bond, carbon-carbon bond we are comparing, here we do not have resonance, bond order is 2, here we have resonance possible, right, so bond order between 
1 to 2. Okay? So bond order of first one is more. Here we do not have resonance. Bond order is 2. Here it will be between 1 and 2. Here it is exactly 1. Okay? So order of bond order will be this. Right? We have resonance possible here because oxygen has known pair. So bond order of this will be between 1 and 2. And here the bond order is 2. So bond order is this. Okay? Again you see, here we have resonance. Here also we have resonance. Here we do not have resonance, so bond order of this will be maximum. And since we have more conjugation here, pi sigma pi sigma pi, so more resonating structure we can draw. Right? And what happens in this resonating structure, you see, I'm drawing, taking this one. This is the resonating structure. Okay? And how it forms? This pi electron comes over here and this pi electron goes here. In the second structure, this lone pair comes over here, this pi electron comes here. Right? So there are three resonating structures possible. Right? And in all these resonating structures, the number of carbon oxygen single bond is more. Two resonating structures will have carbon oxygen single bond and one will have carbon oxygen double bond right even in this in this molecule there is only one structure possible which is here to here right so if you compare this to since the carbon number of resonating structure containing carbon oxygen single bond is more hence the bond order of this will be lesser than this one Right? Order will be this. Here it is completely 2. Here it is lesser than this because it has more number of resonating structure containing carbon oxygen double bond. Here we have only one resonating structure containing carbon oxygen single bond. Okay? So all these examples you can understand. It is not always necessary that due to resonance the bond order increases. Okay? It depends on the type of molecule we have. We may have because of resonance bond order may decrease or increase depending upon the molecules okay so what we can say here one more thing that what we can say that the bond order of carbon oxygen bond is lesser than this molecule since there are two resonating structure containing carbon oxygen single bond okay this is how we compare one more example we'll see which is important here. Suppose this is alpha and this is beta. Okay? Now if you compare the bond order of this one, okay? So the answer here it will be bond order of beta is greater than the bond order of Why is it so? I'll tell you. Here you see this molecule, this molecule, and this molecule will have steric repulsion because of this molecule and this molecule will have steric repulsion. Okay, so because of steric repulsion, what happens? The molecule changes its plane to minimize the steric repulsion. Okay, one of the molecule, this side will go into a different plane. Okay, so this molecule becomes in that case, this molecule becomes non planar. And we know in non planar molecule, resonance is not possible. Okay? So here this lone pair, since it is non, non planar, so lone pair will be is localized. Localized means what? It is there at the nitrogen atom only. Delocalization means what? If it is spread over the entire molecule. Okay? Lone pair is, is localized, resonance is not possible. So bond order here it will be 1, but here it will be 
between 1 and 2, right? So obviously, the bond order of beta is more than that of okay? There are the few examples you have to keep in mind, especially this one, where the steric repulsion is there, okay, according to that, we have to check the bond order. So this is it for the calculation or the comparison of bond order of unequal contributors, okay? So I hope you understand all these, okay? Right? So in the next session, we'll see the another application of resonance, which is nothing but the mesomeric effect. Thank you. Hello friends. So, so far we have discussed the application of resonance and that is nothing but the calculation and comparison of bond order, okay? So the second application we have of resonance is mesomeric effect. Is mesomeric effect. Right? We also call it as a resonance effect. Mesomeric effect or resonance effect. Okay? So, what is mesomeric effect? Mesomeric effect is the electron donation. or electron withdrawal withdrawal through resonance electron donation or electron withdrawal through resonance okay this is also a permanent effect right and in this effect there's no involved like the sigma electrons are not involved like we have also seen in inductive effect only sigma electrons are involved okay but here we do not have any sigma electrons but only pi electrons and lone pair of electrons are involved in this. It has nothing to do with sigma electrons, okay? So that's the difference between uh, resonance and uh, mesomeric effect and inductive effect we have. There we have sigma electrons involved, here we have pi electrons and lone pairs of electrons are involved, okay? You see, like I effect where we have plus I and minus I, Plus I is electron donating effect and minus I is electron withdrawal effect, okay? So similarly, this resonance effect is also, there are two types. It can be plus M effect or minus M effect. Plus M or minus M. Plus M, we also call it as plus R. Or minus M, we also call it as minus R, okay? plus m effect or minus m effect, okay? These are the few, you know, uh, in points or, you know, uh, key points I have already, I have discussed here. Now, like I said, that there are two types of mesomeric effect. It can be plus m also or minus m also, depending on electron withdrawal tendency or electron donation tendency, okay? So, first effect we are going to discuss here, which is the plus M effect. Plus M effect, okay. Like I effect you see, plus I effect is electron releasing group, right? Electron releasing effect it is. So plus M also, it is electron releasing tendency. Electron releasing tendency. It releases electron. Okay? And when it is possible, when it is possible, you see if the group is this XY attached to any other group. So if you have pi bonds present between first and second atom, then it has electron 
with drawing tendency where the condition is what the electronegativity of uh, y is more than that of x this is the condition we have if there is multiple bond present between the first and second atom first atom means what the atom which is attached to the molecule multiple bond like i said then we can have x triple bond y also again the same condition right or the atom with which the group is attached has some vacant orbital okay this is the vacant orbital In all these cases, electron withdrawing tendency is there and the group will withdraw electron from the molecule. Like I said, first example if I write down here, NO2. Okay? You see between the first and second atom, we have lone pair present and the electronegativity of oxygen is more than to that of nitrogen. So it has electron withdrawing tendency and only pi electrons are involved. This pi electron will come over here and this lone pair, this pi electron will come onto this nitrogen, on, onto this oxygen. Okay. So the resonating structure of this will be, this is the resonating structure. Another structure we can draw where this pi electron comes over here and we get this. Here we have positive sign and everything will be as it is next. And the last resonating structure will be this, where this pi electron comes over here and this comes here. So these are the resonating structure we have. Okay? And all this structure you see, it has the sigma electrons are not at all involved, only pi electrons are involved here. So if, if, if they ask you how many resonating structure possible, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the one. Total 5 resonating structure possible here. Okay. So now you see, uh, if you see one a thing if you observe, we'll have positive sign present at ortho position, right? Then at para position and then at again ortho position okay so in this case what happens whenever what we can you know conclude here whenever an electron withdrawing group is attached to the benzene ring right and resonance if it is possible then we'll get carbocation at ortho and para position okay so if an electron withdrawing group PWG through resonance electron withdrawing group if an electron withdrawing group through resonance is attached to to the benzene ring attached to the benzene ring then carbocation forms at ortho or para position okay ortho and para position so if i tell you the ortho and para position in a benzene ring if any group is attached so there are two ortho position here this one is ortho this one is also ortho. This one is para position. This one is meta. This one is also meta. 
So we have two ortho, two meta, and one para position in a benzene ring. And whenever an electron withdrawing group through resonance is attached to the benzene ring, will get positive charge at ortho and para position. And hence, any nucleophile, if you have, they have more tendency to attack on ortho and para position in comparison to the meta position. Okay, so that's the thing. We'll see some more examples in this. One mistake I made here, just make the correction. See, I have taken electron withdrawing group. By mistake, I have written here plus m. Plus m are electron releasing. This is minus m. Minus m effect are electron withdrawing effect. Okay, if I have written here electron releasing, just change that. It is electron withdrawing. That's the thing. I have taken this example. No, this is electron withdrawing example. By mistake, I have written plus m here. So you just change this. Okay? Minus m effect. Minus m group. You should know who all groups are there which shows minus m effect and plus m effect. Okay? So for example, you see if you have this CH2 positive charge on it, it shows minus m electron withdrawing tendency. If you have BH2, it has vacant orbital minus M effect. Okay. You can have cyanide group C triple bond N minus M effect. You can have aldehyde also minus M effect. You can have acid also minus M effect. You can have C double bond O. O R also minus M effect. You can have acetyl chloride also minus M effect. You can have MH2 minus M effect. You can also have C double bond O. O P H minus M effect. All these groups you see they can show minus M effect. One more example I can write down here. C double bond O NHPH minus M effect. Okay? So, you should know all these groups shows minus M effect. Okay? But it is, you don't have to memorize this because the logic here it is what? The, we should have multiple bond between first and second atom. Right? And the second atom must have more, second atom should be more electronegative than the first atom, right? This is one case. Another case is what? We should have vacant p orbital, vacant orbital present under the first atom. Positive charge means what? Vacant orbital we have here. BH2 also we have vacant orbital here, right? So these two are the examples of the first atom contains vacant orbital. This is again multiple bond. Second atom has more, is more electronegative than the first. Second atom more electronegative first. And the same thing we have here. Right? So all these groups shows minus M effect. Okay, uh, you should memorize this, and by common sense also you can say that whether it is plus M or minus M.